welcome to the UK Arena here in Batley. We are 17 nights away for WrestleBration 14. I am the voice of UK W, Brave Power Brett Hadley, and one with the general manager of Wednesday Night Mayhem, the one, Sid Phoenix. Good evening, Mr. Good evening, Phoenix. How are you? I'm excited. 17 nights away. You mentioned so it there close. It's that close now. We are within touching distance of the biggest show of the year. And a, a huge night here tonight on Mayhem. We will have a World Cup match tonight. The UKW World Cup continues tonight no, with Momentum and Johan Hunt in that ring tonight. Chance to get to the semi-finals, the victor. The, to the victor goes the spoils. And one step closer to becoming the inaugural World Cup champion. Also here tonight, I'll be grudgingly saying this, Chris Castle, your friend of mine. Hey. Uh, and we caught up with Chris Castle and Johan Hunt. Obviously, they're old running buddies, they're old friends, and we caught up with them earlier to see how they're feeling ahead of tonight. Let's take you to that footage right now. Hey, Johan. Tonight's a massive night for the Empire. Tonight, it's a massive night for Mayhem, because Mayhem is blessed with the presence of the Genesis champion, Chris Castle. Tonight, me and you, we're going to take care of business. First of all, I'll take care of Joe Cedric, and you're going to take care of my men. It's as easy as that, buddy. What do you say? Cheers. Let's go. Very confident empire, Chris Castle uh, and Johan. Yeah, they were very, like, it's mm. going to be that easy, you know what? I think. Right, let's find out, shall we? Nice let's guess. find out if it's going to be that easy as we get our first match underway this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, your first match on oh, Wednesday Night Mayhem is a singles match set for one for. Oh! Introducing first. They're loud tonight, aren't they? Wow. Speaking of loud, this guy, loud and obnoxious. And your favourite. Oh, yeah. yeah. He is not one of my favourite <laughs> things, I guarantee you. Making his way to the ring, he is the current Genesis wrestling champion, the hardest working man in UK wrestling, self-proclaimed that is, Chris Castle. His opinion, not mine, folks. <laughs> he, he seems to no one to introduce him with any uh, emphasis, any excitement there. Bro. What are you trying to say? Uh, this guy's a blabber out. Blabbering on on Twitter to me all day again because he has nothing else better to do. And introducing his opponent. You want a good introduction? Hey, you're about to get one, all right. I'm a professional, apart from with that pillow down there. That's better. Introducing his opponent. The Prodigy, Joe Sedgwick! Better? He has a date with Destiny, he has a date with his former tag team partner. 17 nights from tonight, it might well be one of the show stealers at the 14th incarnation of WrestleBration, Sid, when he gets a chance to become world television champion. Now that's a superstar reaction for you. Everything that Chris Castle isn't. At one point, these guys were on the same team. I was going to say, now facing off against each other here. Yeah. You saw Chris mention earlier, this is going to be easy. Yeah, he says it's a piece of cake. We're blessed with his presence, he said. Yeah, yeah okay. Castle talking trash to Cedric. Now he's to shake hands. Yeah. friends. He wants really to shake team. hands. Joe's just like, yeah, whatever, mate. He's going to lay down a... What? He wants... Hang on. Does he want Cedric to lay down? Is he having a giraffe? Uh, he wants Joe to lay down. Empire biz, Empire buddies. Let's all be friends. What? Joe's going to shake his hand. And, oh! Chris suckered him in. Joe should have known better, to yeah, be fair. This is the change in Joe we've seen. Yeah. He shows that oh. respect now. To yeah, but this, this idiot now. deserves no respect from anybody. He is the Genesis Wrestling Champion, and I mean, he more or less stole that as well the other week. 
you know, coincidentally the co-general manager. But he's got a day at WrestleBration as well soon. We'll get to that in a minute. Cedric ducks under, ducks over, tries to wrestle Chris Castle down, but Castle the stronger. Cedric though, the quicker. Busted him there without jumping back out. Yeah, quick cover. Joe nearly got the victory there. Castle was caught completely unaware. I was saying Castle is heading to WrestleBration himself. Where he has to defend that Genesis Championship against second generation superstar Ruby Brocco. I say he, he's fully well aware. She called her shot. Yeah, she, she named the time. She named she, the place. Yeah, she won the opportunity to name her shot, and she did. And Castle is obsessed with embarrassing Ruby Brocco in front of her friends, her family, her dad, everybody. He's just convinced that it's going to be an easy night, and he's going to embarrass her at WrestleBration. Castle down for the cover, gets two and a half. Uh, our referee Dylan, who's got very nice shoes on tonight. They're very funky shoes. He'll like you for saying that. But yeah, Castle thinks it's just going to be a, a humiliation contest against Ruby. I think he might be getting in a little bit too confident. Well, you, you say that, but he says this is going to be a walk in the park. This is going to be easy. What do we do if he walks away here victorious <laughs> well, today? Well, well, yeah, it's a big if. And this crowd on the firm side of the challenger for Johan Hun, who will be in tonight's main event. Oh, he could have double duty at WrestleBration because he could be in the World Cup final if he wins tonight anyway. Nah, we, we never hear the end of that as oh, much imagine. as he is, he is the world television champion here on Mayhem. We'd never hear the end if he was Absolutely then the not. first oh. ever. World Cup winner. Yeah, it could happen as well as Castle or Cedric caught up in the ropes here. Cedric's in a bad place and Castle... A boot to the midsection. He's got Cedric draped over the ropes, Sid. Oh! Didi teed him right on his head. Is this a moment, Castle? Surely not. Oh! That was a bit too close for my comfort zone, that. I tell you. I didn't like, didn't like where that one was going. Oh, don't, don't take your eyes away from this, Brett. It's oh, really? The bouncy castle? Please. <laughs> Nobody home for the buffoon. Oh, Cedric now flying around as we know he can. That could be your next world television champion, Cedric. The blue thunder bomb might have got this. Oh, enough. Uh, almost. I have to credit Castle for kicking out. I don't want to, but I have to. Cedric is all fired up. Might be looking to fly here. The potential finally realised for Joe Cedric. Oh, going for the, the end, the coup de grace he missed. Castle picks up Cedric, the Michinoku driver. And Castle might be able to Is steal another victory. Oh, he got it, Sid. Oh, he hasn't. That was close again. But not enough to put down the number one contender for Johan Hunt's bell. Castle says it's over. Is he going for the Castle Rock here? Cedric needs to be careful. That is what Castle's going for here. Castle with the elbows, fighting his way out. Best he can to free himself from that attempt at the Castle Rock. Oh! Castle didn't see Cedric. Oh, Sid, he's got him up. Oh, he had. He had, but Chris says, shouting, no, no. Oh, Castle goes for a boot. Cedric rolls him up. One, two, three, got him! Just like that. The easy night for Castle turns into a disaster. The castle's crumbled. All the sand is down. Here is your winner, the prodigy, Joe Sedgwick. The empire has fallen tonight for Chris Castle as he gets caught. And Joe Sedgwick rolls on to WrestleBration where he has a chance at immortality. And Chris Castle has to go on record. Oh, shut your face, honestly. Win, win, win. I just say all he does when he doesn't be victorious is win. He said it was the stupid ref's fault. The ref did nothing wrong. And Sedgwick is rolling, Sid. 17 nights, I could be announcing him as the new world television champion, and I'll tell you, I'll 
tell you, it would be my absolute pleasure to do it. No, I'm going to say, say any of that uh, celebration soon. He's signalled up at the desk here with the, the arms around his waist. He wants that title, Sid. He's desperate to take it away from Jan Hunt. Obviously, their former member of the Persian Empire they disrespecting were. him. Going in for that handshake and there, then and then... Kneeing him in the... Yeah. He wanted him to lay down at first. What a numpty. Anyway, <laughs> Castle has to face Ruby Brocco at WrestleBration. Joe Cedric has to face... Johan Hunt. And we'll see Johan Hunt against Momentum. It's a rematch from Showcase of Champions, of course, from a few weeks ago. We'll see Johan Hunt and Momentum. Who's going to join Hamza Masoa and Sketch? in the next round of the World Cup. I was going to say, Sketch will be watching tonight because he needs to know who he's going to face. Oh, he faces the winner, right? Yes. Next week, he faces the winner. It will be Sketch against either Momentum or Johan Hunt. And then Hamza Mosoa faces the winner of Friday's match, which will be, I think, JPR and Young Horace are the only two left. Yes. So it'll be JPR and Young Horace on Friday Night Showdown to find out who gets the last spot in the semi-finals of our inaugural World Cup comes your way in 17 nights the finals right here if you haven't got your tickets yet you've still got time get them quick though they are selling fast we will pack over 200 people in this building i guarantee it and it comes your way on the 29th of july more wednesday night mayhem comes your way right after this commercial break stay right where you are folks We are back. It is Wednesday Night Mayhem, live from Batley. It's Brett and Sid at the desk. And last week on Mayhem, I wasn't here, but uh, we saw, I saw it, I, I watched it back. Yes. I saw that main event tag team match with Cerebral Steve and Joe Sedgwick against Evan Knight and Johan Hunt. And uh, what happened at the end of that, Sid? I'm going to say Cerebral Steve picking up that victory with a pinfall of Evan Knight. The around the clock champion. And Evan it, Knight. And it was interesting to see we saw at the end so we were Steve holding that around the clock exactly. championship. This is we where saw we were going. Joe Cedric holding the television championship up. It was like, is this a sign? Is this a sign? Does Cerebral Steve want Evan Knight's title, the around the clock championship? Well, we caught up with the undeniable attraction Evan Knight earlier to find out his thoughts. Let's see what he had to say for himself. I am the best up and coming talent that UKW, that Mayhem has to offer. And I keep getting disrespected. I deserve respect to be shown to me. I deserve people to understand the talent that they watch whilst I'm in the ring. I'm the Mayhem ATC champ for a reason. I have wins over the likes of Jero Lewis, Joe Cedric, Casey Riley. The list continues, it goes on and on. And I could list them off for days, but there's one person that gets involved in my business since he joined my head, and that's Cerebral Steve. Right, Steve, listen here, I want you in a one-on-one. I'm going to add your name to the list of many that I have beaten. Yeah, see, if you can hang with the undeniable attraction, then that's fair to you, but everyone knows you can't, okay? Wow, he's an angry young man, isn't he? But at the end there, he isn't even enough saying it. So he was, was he challenging to, Yes, he was like, the challenge was set. Okay, mm. he picked up a pinfall victory over me in a tag match, but if you want to go one-on-one, -on -one, bring it on. And I'm sure Cerebral Steve will not be shy to accept that challenge. No, I'm going to say, I don't <laughs> think, I think he's got what he wants. If wanted. that's the Steve that I know and you know, I don't think he's going to back down, is he? No. Let's be honest, he always loves a fight. And maybe we'll get that much, maybe at WrestleBration, who knows? We'll find out what happens if Cerebral Steve... Um, except uh, Evan Knight's challenge there. So, uh, up next, we have got, he mentioned Kirsten Riley in that video. Uh, Kirsten Riley, not, as far as I know, he's not back in the UK yet. I just he's been away a few weeks. Just yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, but his partner's here. Uh, and let's get him out and see what's on his mind here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the high flying live wire, one half of Level Up, Brett <laughs> So, on showdown, I may have got attacked, yes, but, but, this, this is a good thing for me, this is a win-win situation, because that attack led me and Kaysen to gain our rematch at WrestleBration, one step closer to gain our rematch at the Championship at WrestleBration. Now, as far as I'm aware, Kaysen is still in Canada. So, Jason, if you're watching this, if you can hear me, you've got to hurry up, man, and get back here. 
So all in all, we have a huge batch to prepare for. We've got this huge batch to make official. There we go, it's Brett Sedgwick laying it down. He does. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? It's Mercy, is that? Oh my god. What are they doing? This is not their show. What are they doing here? It's Mercer and Harrison, the Breaking Bone Studios. They, this is not their show at all, Sid. What are they doing here? Why are they even on here? Wow. What are they doing? We saw last week the absolute. Oh no! Sedgwick nearly got his head decapitated. We need to get someone out. Here. We saw the end of the Dogs of War on Friday Night Showdown when Cliff Harrison turned on one time partner and friend Jacob Reed. The Breaking Bone Studios were formed. And are they going to break the bones of Sedgwick here? I don't like where this is oh, going, is he Sid. Oh, no. here? oh, wait a minute! There he is! It's Casey Riley! Riley is here! He is here! I thought he was still in Canada, but no, he's here, and he's back to save Brett Sedgwick from almost certain disaster there. Breaking Bones, this is not their show, Sid. What are they doing here? I don't here? even know why they're even here. Can you get them out? Well, well, they, they're not supposed to be here. Yeah, Case and Riley coming to the aid Mr. of, Pepper, oh, right. if you must. Oh, what happened to you? After what you did. Hey, hey, hey. We just came to send a message. We'll come here for what we deserve. Hey, hey well, don't move me. I'm just saying the truth here, mate. Come here for what we deserve, and that is the tag title shot at WrestleBration 14. Whoa, that's a bold claim from these guys. Listen, just like I said on Friday, we are here to take over and show our dominance all over UK wrestling. Because we are the Breaking Bone Studio, and this is our division. Oh, Casey you wanna, Riley, you Cedric. Right now, huh? they, want, they want this, so this is going to happen, Sid. Are they going to? What are they doing? Breaking Bone Studios aren't going to back down from this, or, or, or are they? Oh, they're not in. They're not. No. Playing the game well and truly. Yeah, what are they doing here then? They're saying they belong to the A show on Friday nights. Mercer and Harrison staking a claim. Staking a claim. Yeah, he really has. I'll keep crying, Mama's boy. Case and Riley is right. Why is the point of them even showing up, coming on the show that they are not even meant to be on, to then do that, to then say we're going to do it, and then go, hang on, I'm doing it on this show. I mean, thank God. Well, first, let's digest this. Thank God Case and Riley's back for a start. I mean, good to yeah, see Case yeah. and Riley, but, but, but oh, and now, oh, there's the hardcore champion, Tommy. Everyone wants my microphone tonight, Sid. I tell you. What's up, Batley? <laughs> now I'm already the hardcore champion. Me and the Alpha Predator, we don't care about the tag titles, but we would take great pride in leveling. A new tag team, especially one that's got a Sedgwick <laughs> and a guy cosplaying as JPR. Cosplaying? Cosplaying as JPR. Oh my god. <laughs> Dylan and JPR are going to face off at WrestleBration. <laughs> and Dylan and Rex Savage have said they're going to do this. They're going to do this, and this is going to happen because these guys are on Mayhem. I was going to say. Uh, are you going to let them do this? Let's get it on. You got an issue? If they want it, no? they want it. They seem up for it. Case and Should we do it. this? Okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, General Manager Sid Phoenix has authorised this tag team match. Set for one fall, introducing the UK Wrestling Hardcore Champion, Tommy. Dylan and the Alpha Predator, Rex Savage. Their opponents, they are the team of the High Flying Live Wire, Rex Sedgwick and Case and Riley. They are Level Up. And this is going to happen. 
bell rings. And we have got Case and Riley in there with Tommy Dillon, who is heading to Wrestle Bretton for that date with JPR. And now, no. Tommy Dillon. <laughs> I like the smarts of level up here. Yeah. Like, got blindsided by. Um, yeah, got, so they, yeah, well, so he's had a rough week as Cedric last week. He got, he got last week on showdown, firing he, squad. Yeah, now look at this. Rex Savage towering over Kiss and Riley as he does most people on the roster to be fair. Savage is a big guy. And now, oh, Savage oh. knees him right in the guts. And so, oh. and I was saying, yeah, Tommy Dillon's heading to WrestleMania, that challenge with JPR for the Hardcore Championship. There's a lot of personal animosity there. I'm going to say it's, it's when Boiled over, hasn't it? And then Dylan had the cheek to call Case and Riley. What did he say? He cosplaying as JPR. Was That's that it? Like the words he used yeah. to say he was cosplaying JPR. What an that. insult. Uh, wow, and he's. Oh, he's saying to Riley there, you should have stayed in the Great White North. <laughs> should have stayed in the. Oh, oh Canada. Should have stayed there, but no, Riley is back. Level up, want that tag team championship shot at WrestleBrecher, but so do those two, the Breaking Bone Studios. Laying a claim to it, Riley with the face buster. And a clothesline on Dylan. And the second one. We don't know when Riley got back in the country, he could have jet lag here. I mean, and it could be jet lag, yeah. but we do know he was out there training in He Canada. was. He wasn't just there for a holiday. Side suplex. Now, Riley picks up his partner, dispatches him on Tommy Dillon, Brett with the hook of the leg. Not enough here. No. Oh, now. Oh, Dillon with a boot right to the midsection of the high flying dive wire. Referee Dillon Chase trying to get Tommy Dillon back out. It's confusing. All the Dillons. Beer. Oh, oh, he just threw him around like he was a sack of spuds. The uh, differential here between Brett Cedric and Rex Savage who's picked him up. He could hold him up there till Christmas. No, I'll tell you. I'm going to say month after month he, he passed by. Yeah, January. February. Oh, yeah. Making him think about it and look at the nip up. Savage is channeling somebody of Brett Cedric's size and weight doing that. You know, he's deceptively agile, isn't he? Yes, but Brett just getting... It's, it's just not becoming Brett's mum. <laughs> it's not, is it really? Oh, but Brett needs to get back to it. Case of Riley, and he does. Savage doesn't know it. Oh, he does now. Case of Riley fighting for his life here against the Alpha Predator. Case of Riley rolling up, fires in to Savage back in the corner. Riley kicks to the midsection, knee lift. Rex Savage in trouble. Oh, right on his cranium. Case and Riley with a hook of the leg. Just oh. two. This tag match continues when mayhem continues right after this. We are back. It is Wednesday Night Mayhem live from Bat Libra. Adley and Sid Phoenix at the desk. We have got an impromptu tag team match in the ring. It is level. Oh. <laughs> it just got thrown down. Uh, to quote the words, what they used, they just got leveled. Wow. <laughs> I mean, he, he did say, Tommy Dillon did say he was going to level them, and it, it, well, <laughs> Savage just did it. Oh, oh, wait a minute. He was going for the uh, the lights out, Sid. Oh, double super kick to Savage has been neutralized. Up goes Brett Cedric to the top row with a frog smash. He's got Tommy Dillon. Oh. Oh wow, level up with a victory. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners, Brett Cedric and Case of Riley.
have a look with a victory. No, we're going to say that in from you, Vlad. Level up showing that they're not afraid of anyone here. You want to go, you got to step up. They were ready for these guys, ready for Savage and Dylan at a moment's notice. And welcome back to the UK case of Riley. Dylan was trying to be clever, one for JPR's lights out DDT. It didn't work tonight. A level up for the victory. Are they going to be the next challengers for the Firing Squad's Tag Team Championship? Sid, that is the question. for level up as we hurtle we skip towards WrestleMania 17 nights from tonight in Batley at our the Breaking Bones studios at a disingenuously clapping level up here and this is not their show Sid are you gonna yeah Sid's got up Sid, get him out of here well Sid Phoenix has got his hands on the shoulders of these guys so I think we're going to go this way, Bob. Wow. <laughs> Sid Phoenix finally dispatching the Breaking Bones Studios. This is not their show. They're on Friday nights. And <laughs> now, level up. Have issues coming left, right and centre. They want the tag team titles, but the Breaking Bones Studios want them as well. There we go, level up. It's so good to be back. Hey, it's good to see you back, Kessa Riley. Said it's good to be back, it's good to see him. Right here in UKW as we go towards WrestleBration 17 nights. Nice. Have you got rid of them, Sid? They have gone. Oh, they're gone. We shouldn't Thank see them. I mean, yeah, absolute pain. Hey, they called it. They said it's not their show. Yeah. They said that, so guess what? I'm only saying what they said. Well, fair point. I mean, honestly. Uh, so tonight's main event will feature Momentum and Johan Hunt. It's not for the title, it's not for the TV title, but it is for a spot in the next round, the semi-finals of the UK Wrestling World Cup. <gasps> yes. Uh, let's uh, hear what's on the mind of Momentum. We caught up with him earlier. Let's see how he's feeling ahead of this huge match with the world television champion tonight. Last week on Showdown, it was the first match of the World Cup tournament. And in that match, it was Ian Creed versus my good friend, Hamza Kusala. My fellow partner, I guess, or former partner. And congrats, Hamza, you beat Ian Creed. But I'm just going to let you know that it is going to be me and you, our celebration. I'm going to do whatever it takes to win and become the first ever World Cup winner. There we go. He did say if it comes down to him and Hamza. That's strong words. It's like, I know we were a tag team. I know we're NRG, but, but, but I want to be the first ever. And I, I, don't blame, I, I don't blame Momentum. And I'm going to say, if you spoke to Hamza, I'm sure he would say exactly oh, the yeah. same. I, I'm going to say, I bet they understand each other. But 100%. before they do that, they've got to win a couple more matches. Hamza Masoa uh, will face... The winner of JPR and Young, Young Horace. Horace. Yeah, that comes your way on Friday night. And Sketch, who qualified last week... Uh, will face the winner of our main event that's coming up in a little bit with Johan Hunt and Momentum. That's just one of the things we're going to see at WrestleBration, though also we now know UK Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Triple threat now. It's been changed. The dynamics have changed. Damian Black I has... I said Damian Black has, as he played <laughs> them, firing he's squad. Played, nine he's games played them. Sedgwick and Khan like a fiddle, I'll tell you. But he's got himself in there. So that's going to happen. Uh, we know the World Television Championship on the line. Joe Sedgwick and Johan Hunt. We know Shauna Reed's coming back for her revenge. I always falls count anywhere. Uh, uh, speaking of which, have you seen Leonie Rose? Oh, don't. No? Have you seen her? I don't know. Uh, we, we seem to have lost her. She's, she, she wasn't here Monday. Yes, and she's eh? not here tonight. Yeah. Like, is she, is she um, a little bit afraid, maybe? No. Do you think? Do you think? Hmm. I was going to say, I wonder Maybe. if she's running scared. Has Shauna Reed got her number, shall we say? Mm, Shauna Reed is coming back. Also coming back is Paul Hubris Just at WrestleBration. I know, I had to say it. No, you, di no you didn't. 
No, you didn't. You didn't have to mention that name on me. Yeah. I did. Sorry. Yeah, you did not. Sorry. He's coming back, though, against Cayman Carlisle, and Hubris has said it's going to be the most, what's he said, the most violent match in UKW history, hasn't he? Yeah, that's what he said. <sighs> Ominous words, as he wants to finish off the job that he started with Cayman Carlisle ages ago when he attacked him outside. Just unbelievable stuff. It's all coming up. WrestleBration 14, July 2019. Get your tickets now on the UK Wrestling app or at ukwrestling.tv. Come and join us. We're going to pack this building out. We did it last year. We'll do it this year. Uh, guaranteed it'll be the atmosphere in here. I'm already excited uh, for the atmosphere. It'll I be really electric. Am. It really will be electric and it's coming your way July 29th. Coming your way right now. Shall we get tonight's main event out? Let's get them out. Shall we Let's do see it? Let's who's going to qualify. Let's see who's going to get the next step, one step closer to becoming the first ever UKW World Cup winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event of Wednesday Night Mayhem is a singles match, a first round match in the UK Wrestling World Cup Tournament. Introducing first. You hear the wolf raise with freaking wolves, is the world television champion. opponent tonight is no stranger to him. Oh, Gray. What's he doing back out here? Being accompanied by the hardest working man in UK wrestling, Chris Castle. He is the current world television champion, Johan. I'm your favourite. Say it. Not my favourite, but he is the world television champion. Johan Holmes. What kind of... <laughs> trying to make you... Yeah. Trying to ruin his entrance by saying, call me your face. What kind of imbecile ruins his own entrance by trying to get the ring announcer to call him his favourite? Ugh. Just for the record, he's not. But he is the world television champion, I cannot deny that. And he has been a violent... World Television Champion, he has stated his claim to that bell. It wasn't an accident. But he's going to have a tough task as a very hungry, the very, very passionate Joe Cedric heads towards WrestleBration 14, and he wants that title. And introducing his opponent in this World Cup match. These two guys, no strangers to each other. We saw them face off at Showcase of Champions, and it could have been different if it wasn't for Leone Rose. Introducing the opponent, he is the perfection, no mentor. World Cup tournament, Martin. I'm going to the final for you. I'm going to be, I'm going to be the first ever World Cup. Winner for you, for Mayhem, for the best GM at UKW. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now that's the kind of person you want on your side, on your team, on your brand to win a World Cup, Mr. Phoenix. Not oh, Sketch who comes out here going, it should have been me. He should have picked me in number <laughs> one. That's fine. That's the kind of passion we want, the attitude of somebody who deserves to be a champion. Yeah? There we go. He didn't slip the second time. No momentum. And Johan Hunt re re uh, revitalizing their rivalry. And it could have been so different. And it could have been momentum as well, television champion, if he wasn't. For Johan Hunt having uh, Leone Rose in his back pocket. I was going to say that insurance policy. It was the only reason in my eyes that Johan walked out of Showcase of Champions with that bell. Tonight, though, it's not about titles, it's about pride and progression. Pride and progression. Hamza Masoa and Sketch already punched their tickets to the semi-finals. We'll see JPR and Young Horace on Friday Night Showdown this week. 
and then we'll have our final four. The semi-finals will happen next week and then the final at the biggest show of the year, WrestleBration 14 on July 29th, 17 nights from this evening. Is, is Johan here trying to get in the head of the moment? Is he referencing, I already beat you yeah, for this time, I mean, you had that is, shot this title? That is, I mean, and Johan, whether we like it or not, has that victory over Mo. I mean, get Castle out of here to start with. Mo's up, there we go. I mean, that's a chunk I can get behind. I still can't believe Johan tried to get me to interrupt his own introduction. Honestly, this main event said it comes your way in the World Cup when we come back on Friday Night Showdown. Do not go anywhere, folks. We are back. It is the first ever World Cup. It's in season here in UKW. The bell has rang. It is momentum and Johan Hun to find out who advances to the semi-finals. And we know, Sid, these guys don't like I'm each other. I'm going to say, this is boiling up before we even started here. They're, they're obviously not happy. Oh, Mo isn't oh, going to be happy. Mo's not happy at all. Head. No. He's not happy about how he was basically robbed out of that title. And, oh, uh, what's this idiot doing? Right, Chris Castle. I know I'm not really well. But how about we trust what? you one more time? Really? See if you're actually reliable for once. Look what? after this beautiful title that belongs oh. to my friend. Okay, I have the... Uh, if I can't trust you, just pass it to Sid, because I know you're an idiot. I have the World Television Championship. Mate, it's heavy. Yeah. You know these belts are heavy. It's deceptive. But you have that because what having this match means it's oh. part to the semi-finals yep. of the inaugural. Monkey flip by, uh, by Johan Hunt going for the Wolf 49, but more. Gosh, using that rope set to do... An uh, arm drag, spinning arm drag. It's like a, a, an arm drag one yeah, nine, I don't was, know. Oh, but Mo. No balance. You've got to give it to Johan on as much as I hate quick. saying that. I know, he's quick as a, quicker than a wolf. Oh, and Johan. Oh! Just DDT Mo on his head. This could be over quickly, Sid. Oh, Johan desperate to advance in this World Cup. Oh, that was his moment to get through to the semi finals a quick and easy night. It was close, but no cigar for Johan Hun on that attempt with that DDT right on his head. And you can't dispute that Johan's a fantastic athlete, because he is. You know, you just dispute his choice of friends and who he hangs around with and his attitude. Where's the argument of, is he, is he choosing who he hangs around with? Is it that the reason he's a, he's a champ? Well, in my eyes, yeah, because if it wasn't for Leone Rose, he'd have lost at Showcase of Champions. But hey ho, that's, that was on a different day. We've, we've slept since then. <laughs> and Johan Hunt is in control at the moment. And momentum. And both momentum and hands in the so are part of you know, the old NRG are like, hugely popular with the crowd here. Imagine if that was our final. I mean, just no, imagine I, that. It's a, it's a long way off. You yeah, can't just see. True. Oh! Like you've yeah. got a former, you've got oh. JPR in the other half against Jung Ho. Jung Ho is on the revival story. Yeah. JPR, a former uh, UKW yeah. champion. So the, the talent that's in Oh, the talent is there. It's always there. You've got moment. Moment has to try and overcome Johan Hunt here, a and man also that seems that, to have that his absolute number. pest, Chris Castle outside I, I, I as well. I was going to say, yeah. it doesn't mean you just mentioned it. He also has Mr. Chris Castle. Mister, he's not. Uh, well, you can say that. <laughs> Oh, this time, they most coin. Is he going for the arm tormentum? Bar. No, he's not. He's got an armbar on arm him. Armbar out of nowhere. Thought Just he might have been going for that. That, uh, that tormentum, and that might have been disaster for Johan. But Johan, well, the shoulders are going down. He's got to be careful here as Mo. He has got to let go. Just say Johan, just using that experience and realising yeah. he had to break it as oh. quickly. Oh. Beautiful STO by Johan. Down he goes. Hooks the leg and only gets two and a half. Yes, Mo! match for the next spot in the World Cup. You do not want to miss WrestleBration. I know we keep saying it, but it's going to be the biggest night of the year. It's our Super Bowl. 
It's our FA Cup final. It's our Champions League final, right? I was going to say it's, it's, <laughs> it's our Wimble- it's our refer- topical. It's our Wimbledon spot. It yeah. is the grandest. Oh, hang on ground. a minute. Our reference oh, on the is. outside. I only mentioned it earlier. Yeah, Mister Chris matter, Castle. A matter of time. That's what that was. Dylan Chase has been distracted oh. by Johan. A momentum has been attacked by the absolute leech on the outside. It's a pain. Yeah, but you got to remember what Chris Cousin referenced at the start of this night. He said it wouldn't be an easy night. Yeah, he, he lost. He lost. He lost to Cedric earlier. Johan Hummel over the leg, and oh, thank God, momentum still got something going. Yeah, Cedric with that big victory earlier on. As we always say, said it only takes three seconds to win or lose a match. You know. And that's what happened to Chris Castle earlier. He's got a date with Ruby Brocco for the Genesis Championship at Wrestlebration. Big suplex there by Johan Hunt, who's got the date with Destiny with Joe Sedgwick, his former tag team partner. Partners no more. Over the ropes, he breaks when Dylan gets to four. This, 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 is, this is what we say about Johan Hunt. He's not a champion for no reason. No. He uses every bit of leeway he can. He's clever. Himself. He's sneaky. He's clever. Whether it's using his friends, the ropes, anything he can, and it's been successful for him. We not we might not like it, but it's been successful. <laughs> you cannot deny Johan Hunt. And now maybe going for the Wolf 1-9. And not where momentum. Oh, but Mo, Mo's caught him. He's caught the legs and momentum gets thrown off. Johan is one step Johan, ahead. He held on to the rope there. And now, now he's on the springboard back in. Oh! Forearm. No, no. Is and this the Mo- Castle says it's over. No. Oh, but it's not. Dylan was so close. He looked up at us. That was awfully close. Johan thinks he did it, but he didn't. He cannot believe his head in his hands. You can see in the, in, yeah, in the he's reaction of Johan, aren't you? He thinks he had this one. Um, to be fair, arm. I thought he might have had it one as well, but no. And Mo's our favourite chant is ringing out in Batley again, and Johan Hunt didn't do enough. The pride of representing your country and your brand on show here for both guys as momentum swings and misses a few times so does Johan Mo swings and misses as well oh both guys with the same idea and now we've reached a crescendo after that flurry of furious kicks I was going to say move for move same ideas there very evenly matched are these two and that's why they've had some fantastic matches including that showcase of champions match you can watch that on our on demand services Check out every championship in the UKW brand being defended. It was only a few weeks ago as we're a few weeks away from our biggest show of the year at WrestleBration. Cannot wait to announce that momentum with a clothesline and another. Oh, he's got a second wind here, Johan ducks it, but he didn't duck that kick or that kick. All that step of Vinciguri. Momentum channeling the energy, the NRG of this crowd. See what I did there. And now Momentum with the knee. Oh, right in the chin. Now Momentum up to the second rope. On the inside of Meteora. And is that the Meteora to the victory? Is he going to get it here? He can't cover him. Just landed too yeah. far away to get that cover straight in. It's taking a few seconds to get over to Johan. He hooks the leg. Is this it? Sin? No, Johan had the time to kick out. Like you said, just that momentary uh, stopping. You know, he landed too far away, like you said. And now, momentum might need to go for that uh, split legged moonsault. It's a beautiful thing for us to see him call. It could get him the victory here, but no, he's got other ideas. Oh, I was going to say he's got other ideas here. Yeah, he's picked Mo up, on, uh, picked Johan, sorry, onto the top rope. What is he planning on doing with the world television champion here? Maybe a superplex. It's a dangerous place to be, Sid. Did you go up to the top rope much when you were wrestling? No, I'm not a lot. <laughs> you went a high flyer. I think you can count probably once. <laughs> oh, Johan! Oh, 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 he powerbombed him off the top rope! He folded up momentum like an accordion. Oh, he can't, he's still... Oh, is this the symphony for Johan Hunt? Has he got it, Sid? Two! Oh! 
no! You just took too long getting them shoulders flat on the <laughs> mat. <laughs> Them seconds that were so The resilience in momentum. You can see how much this tournament means to him. Yeah. So how much I'm gonna say it means to both of them. Yeah, yeah, I Look can't how believe angry on he, his yeah, game. He cannot believe and now might be looking to put the exclamation point on this. The finality of it there! Is Joe Sedgwick? Oh, tell us, please, bro. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, he's just took the title off my shoulder. He did ask nicely. And now Castle's out here. <laughs> and Sedgwick has the championship belt that he wants. And from behind, momentum with the distraction of Sedgwick. Momentum picks up Johan. Castle's up here. Oh, they go to sleep. He hit it right at the chin. Johan is done for. Castle couldn't save him in time. And Cedric with a distraction and the television championship bell in his hands of cost Johan Hunt his place in the World Cup. I'm gonna say, this has come full circle here. We saw yes. how all was beat. Just deserves. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and advancing to the next round of the UK Wrestling World Cup, the Perfection Mo Enter! Sedgwick likes it, I liked it. Chris oh, Castle on. and Johan Hunt didn't like it. Just remember the start of this night. We yeah. saw Chris Castle yeah. and Johan saying they come, giving us the privilege that they were on Mayhem here. Yeah. yeah, they said we should, we should be blessed and it was going to be an easy night. And then both of them, yeah, with losses. Egg on their face. Firstly, Joe Sedgwick beat Chris Castle it's earlier. And I love you for beating him. 17 nights, Joe Sedgwick, you get your shot. Momentum is now one step closer to the World Cup. And Mo thinks this is in the future, Sid. Is this what we're going to see on July 29th? A very proud, a very passionate prodigy stood beside me, as I say, a new world television champion. Is it going to happen? Can you give it to Chris? Thanks, mate. Thank you. Momentum and Joe Sedgwick, both victorious tonight. We now know Momentum's in the semi-finals, Sid. I was gonna say, there you have it. It's gonna be Sketch versus Momentum. Yeah, Sketch from England and Momentum on their way to the semi-finals. Castle and Johan are still arguing with the referee. Well, they're not having a happy night tonight here on Wednesday night. Absolutely not, but I've had a happy night, Sid. It's always a pleasure getting to sit here with you. We'll be back on Friday Night Showdown. Will you be here? Uh, I hope you I will. I should be here on Friday. I will. Me too. We'll see you on Friday night from the commentary team at the desk from Brett Hadley and Sid Phoenix. Good night, everybody. They're still complaining down there, Sid. We're out of time. We'll see you Friday.